Okay. Torn up my version of the NZ Blowy. Some really good ones out there. Manic Humpies and Shoes got some good ones, so just start off laying some thread. Work it close to the hook shape. Off there. Get a bit of foam. I cut it six mil wide. So I'll just measure that six mil wide across there. And I cut just a little V in it. Just makes it easy to tie in. to go pretty far towards the shank and then tie it all the way back. If you've got a bit of bubbly bit it doesn't really matter. You can go back if you have a neat freak. Or you can just leave it, it's all good. So, now I use this stuff called um, Pearl Braid. I don't know if you can see it real well. It's um, it's really durable. So I've had Trath Teeth gnaw at this and it just doesn't spray or split like um, something like a, a pearl will. They'll split. This is really, really strong. It's Waspy Pearl Braid. It's um, good stuff. I'm just going to tie this in back to the shank again. And nice and tight back. Yeah. And then you want to leave your thread basically about where that's going to end and where your head's going to start. So, we just start wrapping So that's all we got so far. Now after that, obviously that's going to come back on down there. Give you your body What I like to do is always just a dab of super glue on the top, because um most foams when you tie them down pretty tight, they want to spin.
through wraps. Just make sure that it's nice and straight. Looks pretty good. So then what we're going to do now is you pull the foam tight back to the eye, and then we're going to tie down towards the eye. Alright, so that should be there. Basically, that's going to be your head, so that'll fold back, tie that off, and that'll be your head. So we'll leave that for that now. So what I've got is, um, these are excellent, they're um, Hemingway's Mayfly Wings. So basically they look like this, they come in a pack like this. So what I'll do is, is pull them out like this. Come like that. I cut them in half. So you have two wings like that. And um, they've actually got little tiny little tabs on them. You can see. You can actually get your thread under there pretty well. So they. They stay in there really well. There's also a shiny side and a matte side. I don't know if it helps when you're fishing, but I think the shiny side would look probably better to the trout. So, we want the thread up in the middle. What I do now, so that's basically what they look like. Can you see that? They look like that. Obviously, we want them down there, so the trout see the little blow fly like that. So I go back to the super glue. Now what I do is I fold one of the wings back, the bottom one. Put a dab of glue on that. And then I put a dab of glue on the body. Then in the back end of my pair of tweezers I have, I just press that down. Now get it in line, get what you think looks close to center or what looks good. You can see I'm just holding that down like that. I did this with my fingers a few times and got stuck, so try and use an object that um that won't stick much or uh, you don't really care about the butt end of it. Right. So that'll stay, that glue is excellent. I have been through a few fish and the, the wings stay on. But also when we fold this back, the, the thorax that we cut off there will hold that down anyway. So it, um, yeah, it stays, stays on pretty well. Right, uh, so I've got a pair of um, mono eyes. Um, small, must be as well. Basically, just take your thread back towards close to the eye as possible. Just tie in these eyes. I basically use this pretty thin dubbing for the head, so um, peacock black, and um, you need to, don't need to use much, just um, basically just to cover up the eyes and give it just a bit of different colour to what the 
have them in this. So we'll wrap this up pretty tight. basically as far that way as we can because we want a pretty big head to hold down the eyes and to push back on those wings so at the moment it's looking pretty good so I'll pull this back turn around make sure it's nice and straight the eyes are just poking out the sides You can do a few wraps, it's all good. It's not going to matter that much. Then we want to leave a little bit sticking off on the tag end, so somewhere around that. Now that might look like it's pretty big, but um, you can see it looks like it's pretty chunky, but it'll get pushed down, so, so that's what we're looking like at the moment. It's looking pretty good. Alright, so now to see these flies. I use a um, pretty big foam cylinder. They're um, three sixteenth. Let me see that. Three sixteenth. And um, <coughs> yeah, basically I just get it onto the head. Tie down nice and tight. And just make sure everything's straight because foam always wants to spin. We'll go to the side that you're pulling down tightest on. The good thing about this is where you wrap it in the middle, basically making a segregation between your head and your abdomen, and it looks it looks really natural having that extra black gap in the middle. Uh, so that's sitting on there real well. So now I just add some um, super fine other legs. They're, um, just tie them in. Basically, you have uh, your head there and your post stick that's sticking out there. Basically, I get the legs to stick in that gap there so they push out either side. Three nice tight wraps either side. So that's looking good. And then what I do is is that I'll run this thread back to the eye. So what I do is I'll tip up the the fly so it's sitting up like that. And then after that last wrap, just go back to the eye and then get one wrap just so it's easier to whip finish. Good. 
So one last thing I do is um, for the eyes, because if you've ever looked at a blowfly, they've got red eyes. So I use a um, just a red acrylic nail polish and just have the fly upside down. Just um, not too much. So I don't go crazy or anything. Make them super red. So I'm using a deep, deeper red on the black eyes already. Gives it a really good colour. So as you can see that now, 